Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Phil Stuff. This is all about stuff I like to do. Uh, today was a super long, hard day. Uh, lots of beekeeping stuff. I got queen cells I gotta put into mating nukes tomorrow, and so I had to make sure everything was ready, and it was raining, so the bees were cranky, and I was getting stung lots. Uh, so it was a long, hard day. Um, but I'm pretty excited for now. It's 10.30 at night, which is why I'm doing this in the shop instead of my house, my family sleeping. Uh, but I picked this up earlier at the post office today, and I'm pretty excited to finally crack into it. Um, so this is a series of, uh, this is a couple books from somebody called the uh, Banjo Buddy. Um, James Finnegan is actually, I believe, his name. That's what it says in the package anyway, so I'm going to assume that's his name. I think it is. Um, so I got a banjo. My dad uh, recently, like about a year ago, uh, my mom and my dad moved into an apartment and my dad uh, was getting rid of all of his musical instruments and I got my sister to save me a couple in Ontario and I went and picked them up. So anyways, banjo is one of those things that I got. Uh, it's a four string banjo. Um, maybe I'll show you that first. So it's a, a four string banjo. Uh, so not a, not like a bluegrass style five string banjo like claw hammer or something like that. Um, so I've been kind of goofing around with this a little bit. Um, and I saw this guy on YouTube, his name's James Finnegan, uh, calls himself the banjo buddy. He's about the only person who had instructional videos. Well, there's a few others, but his were really good uh, for Irish tenor banjo. So um, I'm half Irish actually. So I've, uh, I've set this up in Irish tenor style, so same tuning as a violin. Um, anyways, he's got a beginner book, which is super cool, because that's definitely me. Um, and then when I was on his site, he just put out a book called 365 Days of Banjo Tunes or something like that, which I don't think I need yet, but shipping from the UK is so expensive that I thought, hey, why not order them both? Uh, think it ran me about a hundred bucks Canadian for both books, which is kind of pricey, but when you're self-publishing, that's how it goes. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Uh, I'm gonna crack a fake beer to relax here too. I don't always drink real beer. Sometimes I like fake beer. This is craft uh, pale ale. It's actually quite good. If you're looking for something, that's not alcoholic. Anyways, enough blathering. Let's open this up and see what we got. Whoa, fancy. Look at that. Comes in a fancy dancy. Uh, carry case, I guess, a little tote. It's kind of cool, nice little touch. I didn't know that it came with that. Um, so, put that off to the side. So, oh, stuck one to the other. So that's the first book, Banjo Buddy Banjo Book. Complete Handbook of Traditional Irish Tenor Banjo Playing by James Finnegan. So yes, that is his name. Um, so I didn't know quite what to expect actually from a kind of self-published, I'm assuming it's a self-published book anyways. Mosquitoes in here. But it's actually decent. Like the paper's nice and heavy. Um, So it looks like it goes through pretty much everything. It's a little about him. And then it goes through things like parts of the banjo, maintenance, upkeep, accessories, how do you hold it properly, right hand position, how to hold a pick, plectrum as they seem to call it. This guy's from the UK by the way. Uh, I'm assuming Ireland. Um, where did it come from? Check the box. I'm excited. This is so cool. Um, it came from Nuri 
every county down. I have no idea if that's Ireland or not. It just says United Kingdom on there. Can't they just set them apart? My sister's actually in Ireland right now, checking it out. So, uh, yeah, so right hand positioning, holding your pick, uh, left hand, fretboard in traditional Irish tuning, and then it goes through, oh, this is cool, so it teaches you ABC stave and tab notation, which, um, and it's kind of nice, it's in full color, parts of it anyways. Um, yeah, so it goes through all the different styles of notation. It's kind of cool. So this is something I, I didn't know about in these ones when they have G and then they have these little uh, either comma or apostrophe, which is just denoting between high and low. And then of course tab. So I've played guitar for Sorry, there's some honeybees stuck in here. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, I played guitar for maybe seven-ish years. So tab is the same thing for banjo as it is for guitar, except there's only four strings instead of six. So we got reading tab, um, picking, plucking the strings, getting started, and playing scales. So let's check out the scales part. That's cool, it's got some good stuff in there, like it talks about, you know, up down picking, uh, which is really common in, um, in guitar, you want to make sure you're doing that. There's a couple spots where the printing isn't ideal, and I don't know if it was meant to be... A different color. So like here we've got group one, uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and it's in like a purple, right? You can read it real easy. And then this one, it's got group two, down, up, down, down, up, down, but it's like in this really light gray. And then same thing here, these rules, they're in really light gray, they're kind of hard to read. So far that's the only thing that I would say is not Super awesome. The rest of it looks good. Size of the print is nice, you know, like if you're a little older, some of it might be hard to see, like some of this really small, small stuff, but the main print is good. Yeah, I think it's that it's supposed to be in color and it's actually not. So on this page here, and maybe I'll show it closer later, but it says orange with orange, green with green, blue with blue, and red with red. And you can see that all of those, what should be colors, are all different shades of black. But they're not a color. So, that's maybe not so cool. Like, it would have been nice if you're going to make it color, well then print it in color. Not just these fancy pages, because either that or make it black and white, because what's happened is, is when they get to them, they're a little bit off color. But I mean, that's pretty minor. I can still read it. It's not so light that I can't read it. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We got exercises for scales. Um, one thing I'm starting to learn from guitar, like I've played guitar for like seven, eight years and I still suck at it. And I think it's because I don't practice enough. Like I just goof around all the time. If you want to get good at something, you actually need to practice. Um, I've learned this from my daughter's violin. Like, it's amazing how much difference it makes. Okay, so bringing it back to the end. Uh, so we've got, uh, he's got a little bit of music theory, which is good. Uh, for people who don't know it, maybe give you the basics. Essential notes, left hand exercises, note values and advanced music theory repeat signs, so just how to read a song, um, which, you know, I kind of know that stuff anyways, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, Irish dance, beginner pieces, Irish dance music, developing Irish music theory knowledge, playing tri triplets and trebles, which I don't know anything about yet, uh, and then there's some tunes, extra resources and acknowledgements. So, 
like beginner tunes, you get stuff like Happy Birthday, Jingle Bells, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So these are all like super simple tunes that but people know how it goes, right? So that's really handy. Whereas something like um, one of the other beginner tunes, Molly Malone, Cockles and Muscles, like. I don't know a ton of traditional Irish tunes, and I have no idea what that tune sounds like. One thing that's nice that this guy does do a whole bunch of videos on YouTube um, explaining a lot of his uh, songs. So get into, yeah, so there's quite a bit more tunes. Oh, it actually explains triplets, explains how they, okay, so polkas, so it explains the rhythm of how a, a polka goes. Cats and boots, and that's how you start uh, beatboxing too, isn't it? So from here back is a bunch of different tunes, which is super cool. So there's a lot of tunes, uh, reels, hornpipes, uh, barn dances, slides, mazurkas, marches. They explain all the different styles of these things, which is cool. So that's the beginner book. Um, it's pretty neat. And then the one I'm probably not going to get into right away. Um, this one's a little more beefy. Cool. So ring bound, which is nice uh, if you're going to put it on a stand. So when you flip it over the pages, right? Okay, so the big book of 365 Irish tunes, a year of classic session tunes. And the reason that I bought this, and I actually really think it's super cool, is it's notated in stave, ABC, and tab. So it's kind of my goal with the banjo, and I didn't do it obviously when I learned guitar, Mostly I play chords in guitar. I don't play a lot of picking, but um, I can when I, if I read tab. So tab is like, for people who don't know, it's like, you know, it'll, there's four lines for the banjo. Anyways, there's four lines that denote the different strings, and then it either gets like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that just tells you which finger you're putting on which fret. So 0 is open, 1 is the first fret, 2 is the second fret, etc., etc. Um, but I really would like to be able to read music um, better. I have a little bit of basic music theory and stuff from when I was a kid, and then I've been taking Justin Guitar's um, music theory course, um, which I would highly recommend to anybody who's into guitar stuff. Super cool. Um, so I'd like to be able to do that. So I'm thinking it's kind of handy to be able to have so on the same page, we've got um, at the top, it tells you what the notes are, G, E, D, E, you know, like, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a cheat sheet. And the idea being is it hopefully is going to get a little more in my brain of which note, like I can, I can look at them and I can go, Okay, F, A, C, E, and figure out which one. Okay, that's F, and then, oh, that's one up, so that's G. You know, that kind of stuff, but it's pretty slow. And so I want to get faster at it. I'm already getting okay at where the notes are on the banjo, which is kind of cool. Um, it didn't take me too long to figure that part out. The highs and lows, like where they fit on the scale, was a little bit trickier, but anyways. So that's the main reason why I actually bought this, because you can find lots of these tunes online, but they're usually either just tab or just notes. Most of them are just notes because a lot of these are kind of like fiddle tunes. Um, and the other reason I thought it was cool is because banjo tuning is the same as fiddle tuning, I was hoping that maybe my daughter could play some of these too along with me. I'm not, she plays fiddle. Uh, I'm not sure if the the melodies are the same on fiddle or banjo. It seems like they should be to me. Um, yeah, so this is just uh, a big, massive book of tunes. One tune per page, which 
with the odd exception, obviously. But the size, yeah, the size of the, the print and the notes and everything is pretty decent. Like, I'm able to read that easily enough. Um, yeah, and the whole, this whole thing is just tunes. Um, you know, there's some acknowledgments at the back and a little bit of composers. Like, a, a lot of this stuff is traditional, right? So either people don't know who the composer is or it's just in the public realm. But then some of this does have composers, so it's super cool that he's, you know, kind of called them out, gone a little bit about each one of them, their website. That's really nice of him to do that. I imagine he has some sort of deal with them to make that work. Um, and let me just check. Oh, cool. So I'm not going to show this part because um, there's a QR code that gets you access to a Dropbox um, with over 730 audio examples in MP3 format. So that's kind of cool. And I also noted, like I said before, he's doing more and more of these um, on YouTube as he goes. So this one, actually it looks like the first 13 pages is a little bit of expl explanation on note values, repeat signs, reading tab, things like that. Uh, but then we've got like 40 polkas, um, 110 jigs, um, what would that be, 125-ish reels, 25-ish uh, slip jigs, about the same for hornpipes, uh, a little bit more for barn dances, and a few slides, mazurkas, and marches. So it pretty much covers anything. I can't imagine there's any tunes I would want to play that aren't in here necessarily. Um, especially because I'm just getting going and I'm sure most of them are above me. So, anyways. That is um, kind of the unboxing of this. So, uh, last little, we'll give them a little shout out. So. Uh, TheBanjoBuddy.com is where you find him. James Finnegan is his name. I found him on uh, YouTube just when I was searching up Irish tenor banjo stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to sit here with my book now and uh, play a tune or two maybe and uh, check it out. So thanks for tuning in. I know it's probably a long video for just an unboxing of a book or two books. Um, but I'm super excited to, to get, to kind of dig into this with a little more purpose and thought. Anyways, thanks a lot and, uh, have a good night. Don't forget to, uh, subscribe if you're interested in things that I do, my stuff, Phil's stuff, uh, which is things like, uh, beekeeping, uh, which I also build lots of stuff for in the shop. I spend a ton of time in here. Um... We've got like chickens and a huge garden and kind of homesteady stuff. Um, I'm into guitar and new is banjo. Also into like uh, bow hunting, but I don't know how much I'll actually do videos for that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thanks for uh, checking me out. And uh, if you're interested in that stuff, consider subscribing. Thanks.